it's collecting all your maps together and arranging, arranging them in full size the way you see what you see them on the screen. You could just do this in your Photoshop yourself, but the next part of this tutorial is uh, going to show you why using this tool is uh, incredibly helpful. The XML contains metadata information that then tells the script that you'll see a, a link for in, in the uh, description how to go into 3D Studio Max and find those maps on your original material and for each one of them give it new unique linked UVD tr UV UVW transforms and then UVW maps for each one of these textures and it's all automatic it's one button and then you change materials to your new atlas material and you've done it it's not done yet so I'll keep talking you can then take your texture atlas that this generates and create a secondary atlas that's just your bump maps make sure they're in the right place the right the same spots as their diffuse counterparts you can then do the same and make a opacity map atlas only or you can in my case I usually combine the bump map and the uh, opacity maps since that can be a single grayscale additional map which doesn't increase the footprint too much it's taking a long time to make this texture map I'll probably have edited this out
and your your model in 3D Studio Max has multi-material, multi-standard materials. First thing you want to do is take the material of your model and bring it into the material editor. And temporarily you want to get rid of all the other maps except your diffuse map in every slot. So make as few materials as possible by consolidating. And then for each of the multi-materials, just make sure there's a diffuse a diffuse uh, entry and that's it for now. You can work with the other map types later in really clever ways, easy ways. And then you want to go into your utilities panel, you click more and go to resource collector. And what you want to do is collect your bitmaps and update your materials and before clicking begin you go to browse and choose and make a folder where you're going to put your maps and then you click begin and it'll run and it will copy all your texture maps for that model make sure that's the only object in the scene is the model uh, one piece is best since you can have uh, elements with multiple materials and a multi-material there's no reason to have multiple objects at least in terms of making a single character texture atlas next thing you want to do is double check your your folder here this is the folder of all your textures you want to make a a folder to place your texture atlas in the end and call that atlas you want to make a folder called bump copy in any bump maps that may have that bump maps that have the exact placement and uh, orientation of the diffuse map you want to copy into that bump folder. Opacity maps you'll want to leave. Okay, next thing is going to a simple program that you get a week free with, so you might want to download it quickly before their generosity disappears. It's called Texture Packer. And in Texture Packer it calls uh, basically texture sprites. First of all you want to make sure when you do new project that you pick XML generic. You always want to be an XML generic for this particular process. Many other things you can do with this tool. In here what you want to do is simply add your texture maps, add your sprites. So you want to increase your sizes until it all everything starts to fit. Two are still not fitting. I'm going to make a really large map for now and I'll lower the size later in Photoshop. So you can play around with your orientation by choosing larger or smaller. Kind of like how that one looks. Excellent. Okay, now uh, you want to tell it where to put your data file. So that'll be your Atlas folder. Save. Oh, got to give it a name. Mayan Atlas, in my case. And that's an XML file. Next, you want to choose the folder to put your PNG and get in the Atlas folder. We'll call that Mayan Atlas.png. Your size is set, your type is set, your folder is set. It's not giving any error messages. And you can now say publish sprite sheet. This can take a little while. Okay, it's done. Next, you want to go into Max, and we're going to run the script that you'll see the link for. So you go into Max script. So you run the script. It's called Tools Map to Atlas. It opens this little window. Make sure your, your model is selected. Make sure your model is a editable poly. It won't work if you don't do that. Next you want to browse and find your Atlas folder. And there's your XML, the Magic XML metadata file. Open that up and say Map Selected to Atlas. It looks kind of funny, but you'll see why in a second. It's created very many UVW transforms and simple mesh select layers 
with an edit poly at the top to convert it all into a single channel. And what you do next is create a new material, create a diffuse slot with a bitmap, and pull in your atlas. Make sure the map is viewable in the viewport, and then apply the map to the character. And there it is. render that's finally done save out so the next thing you want to do go into Photoshop and open up your atlas then you want to open up all your bump maps that you put in that at separate folder and what you can do is Okay, and so that's your bump maps. In this one, you already have your opacity maps. You can delete anything you don't need or don't or ignore it. And here we now have the bump maps for, for the character's body, the opacity maps for the eyelashes, and opacity maps for the hair, and the edge of the loincloth, which has some tassels at the end, and these are those tassels as an opacity map. Next, you want to go image, mode, grayscale, Merge your layers and discard the colors. And then you can save that out as your Atlas Bump Opac. And that can serve as a bump map or opacity map in the right channel in the right place since it's in the same place as what it now considers a diffuse channel. One thing I should mention is earlier on I copied the opacity maps for the ones that didn't have diffuse maps into the diffuse slot. Specifically, I did that for the eyelashes. So later on you can. Um, create multiple maps from specularity to displacement uh, using the same technique and you now know where everything goes based on that first texture atlas and with that script you're now able to link through the XML metadata from the character to the texture you created in Texture Packer. The texture Packer can be downloaded at codeandweb.com slash texture packer. The script I originally found on polycount.com, a really cool forum, it was a username monster. He noticed a need for the thing, decided to post this really cool visual tutorial that I've now hopefully turned into some kind of successful video tutorial. And uh, good luck atlasing. Thanks. Adios.